Hi everyone, welcome to day 40 of my daily challenge, which is to train and learn. Today is Friday the 11th of February 2022. Uh, the training for today has been a nice about 8k run with a big hill, uh, hill sprint at the finish and one of the most humid days we've had yet. So I don't know, you can almost see the, where I am you can see the humidity down the hill. Um, so very sweaty, apologies. Um, the lesson for today is, do you really know what your limits are? Um, and the thought behind this is um, I've done a couple of tactical response group selection courses myself. Um, years ago when I did the first one, I um, ended up getting through it with a few other guys and we ended up on the list to go to tactical response group, but no one was uh, leaving. There was no gaps at the time, so we stayed on the list for a couple of years and they cut it and said do it again. So um, luckily I'd forgotten the, a lot of the pain from the first one when I did the second one and the shock of the second one was probably worse than the first one because the first one I didn't know what was coming. The second one, I thought I knew what was coming, but I'd forgotten, um, I'd put it to the back of my mind and day one, day two, it's like a slap in the face, back and do it again. Um, so yeah, basically you, I find everyone on that course and everyone, you know, it's a, it's a short version of a Special Forces um, military type course, but um, you still find your limits, you still hit the wall. It's designed so that you're, you're not gonna be able to achieve everything and you're gonna you're going to hit the wall physically at some stage and it's where you hang in there mentally that that um, counts and how you perform and how you think through all that fatigue and all that pain and suffering that everyone else is also feeling. Um, a lot of people think they're at their limit when they're not. Um, there's people that will pull off those courses every year in the first hour and um, it's because of the shock of the the pain and the intensity and the things that they're going through. Um, they think that that's it, their body can't handle it. but the reality is you can push through way, way longer than that. Um, and it's been proven many times by many people who you wouldn't expect to get through these things sometimes. Um, you look at Navy SEALs, they do a lot of underwater um, testing to the point of drowning each other pretty much. Um, but they test the, if you've ever done some laps underwater in a swimming pool uh, and push yourself to the point where your stomach starts gulping or starts um, moving around trying to get air in, um, a lot of people will think that that's it, I've got to come up. but. Um, from Navy SEALs having done testing with uh, many, many people through their courses. Uh, they know that that's 40, 50% of the way there. You've still got, you're still only halfway there, even though your stomach's telling you to, you've got nowhere you've got to go. Um, it's a mental game, so you can push through again another 50% of the time. Um, having said that, quick disclaimer, if you're ever doing any underwater breath holding training, have someone else there with you because people have passed out and people have died doing that on their own, just through passing out and pushing the limits. Um, so yeah, we talk about pushing the limits, even in, even in surf boat rowing, when I started surf boat rowing, I remember one of the guys who'd won a few national titles and done really well, he, he talked about he would row to the point where he was almost having an out-of-body experience so he could see himself rowing. So people get to the point where their lungs are gasping and they're in a lot of pain and rowing to one of those, one of the toughest sports as far as um, lung capacity and cardio and everything. Um, he would be he would then move to the mental game, into his brain, outside his body, whatever it is, um, and then add an extra bit again. You've always got something where you can lift and go to the finish. Um, the reason why it's important, I think, to really know your limits is because it applies in everything. So I, I draw back on my selection courses that I've done for, for everything I do when I'm starting business, when I'm running businesses, when I'm um, doing other sports and things like that. Things get hard, I draw back on, I've pushed well above and beyond where I thought I could a couple of times already. Um, I know where my limits are there and I'd be prepared to push on again if, I, if someone told me to keep going. So um, if, you ever, if you ever get a chance to do these things and do courses and extended training programs and things that are really gonna push your limits beyond where you are now, even if it's just a little bit beyond, um, but if you can really push well beyond where you are now, you've, you've got that to, in the back of your mind for, for the rest of your life pretty much. You know you know that you can push hard if you're a CEO of a business or you're, you're working hard hours for a few weeks or you, whatever it may be, you can always draw on that, um, that you know how hard you can push yourself and you know that you've got it inside yourself. So, so that's the thought for today. If you ever get a chance to, to find your limits, push your limits well beyond what you actually thought they were, um, go ahead and do it. But the thought for today is what are your real limits? See you tomorrow.